Hello once again guys, it's Takeos1 here. We've got a very, very interesting StarCraft 2 game for you today. Uh, well, I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. It's going to be pretty awesome, so all you really have to do is just sit back and a bit like there, sit back and watch the watch the excitement unfold in front of your eyes. This will be very interesting. Uh, so let's start by introducing the players here. Uh, down here, or over here in like the left hand side I suppose, we have Wingblade, the red Protoss, and up here in the top spawn we have Micro Raptor, also known as five year old. Uh, he, this is uh, his brother's account or his smurf account or something like that, so he's not actually playing on his main. But uh, yeah, he is going to be the blue zerg, and of course the map is Antigua Shipyard. So it'll be a PVZ on Antigua Shipyard, and let me tell you, it's a pretty awesome game. So let's just speed this up here just a little bit, because obviously the beginning is a little bit <laughs> slow as most games. You can see down here, Protoss players definitely going for a forge fast expand. Fairly standard in almost every matchup. Well, who is it? I think Polt or someone said, uh, forge fast or die trying. Anyways, uh, you can see here he's throwing out. You can see uh, Microraptor, five-year-old, is throwing down an Evo chamber at the natural of the Protoss opponent, delaying that that natural expansion by quite a bit, which will definitely, <coughs> excuse me, doesn't definitely benefit him later on in the game. You can see there's absolutely nothing down for the Zerg player just yet, but here we go. What do we have? We have a macro hatch. Or uh, should I say proxy hatch in the main of Wingblade. Now let's see if he uh, sees this here. He does in fact see this proxy hatchery. So he's <laughs> here he is here he's laughing. He's like oh man what a noob. Throwing that proxy hatch at my base. Like a scrub or something. You can see that he did allow the uh, Evo Chamber to finish. You can see a uh, five year old here is like oh no he sees my... He's my proxy hatch, but that's alright, it doesn't even matter. You can see Wingblade here's got the probe patrolling at the natural, trying to deny any sort of expansion. But um, if you look here, there's absolutely no expansion going down. So that's quite useless, and he could have that drone mining minerals or doing something productive. And what do we see here? Another proxy hatch for when this one goes down. You can see Wingblade is producing two photon cannons right outside of the this proxy hatch here that's like 300 minerals being absolutely wasted and there you go there goes the cancel so those 300 minerals were in fact wasted and the protoss he's just continuing with his standard build though and he's just macroing up right now. Meanwhile, just outside of his base, there's another proxy hatch going down. You can see there's a couple of, there's a few drones are being transferred down from the main right now. This probe's like, hey, what the hell is going on? He knows something's up, seeing as there is no uh, hatchery in the in the natural or in the third base. So he's definitely like, all right, what the hell is going on? He's got two zealots out here. He's searching for another macro hat or proxy hatch sorry at this point and here here we go he does see it now he's probably like what the hell is going on it's definitely one of the more strange games i think anyone's really ever seen this like macro hatch or wow i keep saying macro hatch proxy hatch to the max throwing down a few spine crawlers there gonna get some really nice defense going these wrigglings though are just getting eaten up by these zealots and zealots of course Hard counter zerglings like you would not believe. You can see the Cybernex core is finished now. There's a queen on the way. Uh, up here, no. Queen down here at the proc dash, which is a very good decision. Gonna be. Sorry about that leg there. Gonna be get, getting some transfuses going. You can see he's not actually canceling these spine collars, which is a bit of, bit of a mistake. You could be using all that money to be building zerglings or other queens. Start spreading creep, getting injects going, but oh, he does that spine crawler does manage to get one kill right at the end there. The queen does come out, hits that inject right away. A couple zerglings to get in the way of these zealots while the queen does really all the damage. And you can see here, he's just throwing down a couple more uh, photon cannons, just being playing this extra safe. He's got a stalker on the way, which is definitely a smart move. 
but he really doesn't have any tech going so far. He only has the one gate down, not starting his warp gate technology, so he's behind. But I guess, and also in his natural, he only has two probes, so saturation is absolutely horrible. Like, it literally could, almost couldn't be, be any worse. It's just really bad. You can see some more drones are being transferred down here, probably going to get turned into spine crawlers like this one. Now, I'm going to speed this up a little bit because this is it. Nothing really too much happens. A couple spine crawlers going down, photon cannons, and it's just kind of back and forth. Now, a lot of people are under the impression that spine crawlers actually have more range than photon cannons, but that is not true. Let's see, there's two queens down here. Neither of them have enough enough energy for a chance to use, but this queen is now out. So, that's three queens down here in the proxy position. You can see some minor long distance mining going on right here very smart so it's almost like he's on two bases well he's effectively on more bases i guess income wise than uh let's look at the income here yeah the zerg player is basically tied with the protoss player and that's really bad considering the protoss player is on two bases at this point in time see these sign colors just trying to get some better positioning these queens are out a couple of them have enough energy for transfuse, which of course is absolutely amazing. Just super key when you're playing any sort of uh, Zerg versus anything type game if you're going for a mass queen type build. You can see Warp Gate's finally finished at the 11 minute mark, which is extremely late. These two don't even get the privilege of being turned into Warp Gates. Oh, never mind. There they go. Uh, if you look up in the main here, he does hit. Uh, five year old has not started his speed which could be beneficial if he was trying to do a run by but you know there's a lot of cannons there's like five there's six cannons just at the front here a couple in the main that's a lot of minerals being wasted on static de defense when he could have been working on uh his economy which would have been probably more beneficial seeing as he's not seeing as a micro raptor here or five-year-old isn't actually building that many um attacking units all he really needs is a uh, robotics facility or robotics bay. I don't know. I don't play Protoss. Whichever one allows you to get the Observer so you can kill off these creep tumors and not allow a uh, five-year-old here to expand any more with these spine collars. But uh, generally, it's a pretty good play. I mean, this is a really nice spot for the hatchery, I would say. Uh, also, taking the third base of <laughs> of Wingblade here. You can see that there's uh, some major BM going on. He's just getting really angry at this point in time because he knows he's being slightly outplayed, still only running off of four gates. And saturation in his main, if you look here, he could do with about three, maybe four more probes down there. Meanwhile, he, meanwhile, um, five-year-old here is just getting more spine crawlers in the front of Wingblade's base and this is getting pretty intense. He's got quite a few queens. He's got about six queens on the field and he's go throwing that transfuse down on that overlord, saving its life like a good guy Greg kind of thing. And uh, let's just speed this up here I guess. There isn't really all that much going on. But yeah, you can see the Protoss is trying to use the high ground to his advantage. That overlord does get sniped though. And But all the five-year-old needed to do was just move it back a little bit and with, that's exactly what he did. So now he's effectively using two bases and doing a fantastic job at getting staying ahead of his opponent. If you can look at the income tab here is substantially ahead. He's 36 harvesters to 29 and as the Protoss he has an absolute shit ton of gas saved sorry not gas but energy saved up at this point in time. Like I don't really know how to explain the amount of energy he has but it's absolutely ridiculous he should just be pumping out a ridiculous amount of probes trying to get the saturation up and you can see there's a bit of an engagement going on right here these zealots just taking all sorts of damage from the both the queens 